here to share my interview experience for Oracle. My CTC is 19.1 LPA and the basis 14.5 LPA. Right. So for the process, first of all, I gave my resume into the Google form. And uh, next, there was an online assessment test in which um, there were 22 total questions around two hours of test. And one was a REST API question. And one was coding question, which was like for everyone, like there were sets. So it was pretty basic, probably a medium or hard, not really hard, easy or medium level of lead code questions. Okay, and then there were 20 uh, verbal ability and aptitude questions. Okay, so like after that, around uh, 65 people were shortlisted for the interviews. Um, and that was told to us like around one to two days before the interview. So um, in that, there were they had two units. One was the food and beverages unit and one was the communication. In communication, there were 27 people around and I was one of them. So um, as for the interview, they, were, they asked us to come for the PPT first. And uh, the PPT was around 9 to 9.15 in the morning. So we went there and we attended the PPT. The PPT was very informative. So make sure whenever you're attending a um, interview or something and they're having a PPT, do pay attention to it because it really helped in my interview later on. So uh, yeah, I like the PPT was very engaging. The person who was giving it, the sir, he was very interesting and he told us a lot about the company. He was very like interacting with the students. It was a fun session actually. Like after that, uh, the head of that department and all, uh, they told us that we can have a break of 10 minutes and after that interview will start. And as they said, after 10 minutes, they had some panels and uh, like six people were there in our unit who were going to take the interviews. Two were women and four were men. So like after that, uh, they started with the interview process. Everyone was going like into the pro room and giving the interviews. Like mine came after a while, I guess around 1.5 to two hours later, I gave my interview, first interview. So in that, um, uh, first of all, that sir gave me his interview. And I asked a couple questions from his, in, uh, from his introduction, I'm sorry, introduction. Like it, it made me feel like I was interested in their company. Like I really wasn't into him too. So um, after that, I gave my introduction. I gave some spontaneous points as well. Like the introduction that I prepared, I added some points. I reduced some points, whatever I felt like came to my mind at the moment, that is fine. Like, so it's not a need to cram everything and all like whatever comes to your mind, just say it, right? Then, um, uh, I was sitting right in front of them. So he uh, mostly asked me questions of OOPs, like basic OOPs, polymorphism, its types, and I have to show the code, how it's written, like virtual function and all that. Like OOPs was the base of this interview. Then there was a bit of DBMS, like the languages of DBMS, and um, like couple questions related to it, if I have ever worked on a database and all, that was all about it. And then he also asked a little bit about my project that I mentioned in my resume. Like it was based on a website. So he asked me some API questions and all. That was all. Then he gave me a coding question. It was based on linked list. Specifically, it was intersection of linked list. First, I gave him the optimal approach. And then he asked me if we can, if we can do, it some, do it in some other way. Then I gave him the other one as well. Like I was supposed to write the pseudo code and explain it to him. He gave me around two to three um, like examples to solve and uh, dry run, right? So that was all about the interview. At the end, I asked him a question that I had prepared and I had integrated from the PPT that I listened to. So that it shows that I'm interested in their company and listen to their presentation and all. It just puts an impact. Like after then around 30 minutes, I was told by the PR that I was going to have a second interview. Like after 15 minutes of him telling me that I went for the second interview. The second interviewer was also a very nice man and um, he didn't actually give me, uh, ask me to give his introduction. So he said that I should tell him something that's not mentioned in my re resume. Anything that I do, any interesting thing. 
so i did come up with an answer spontaneously so do keep it prepared as well like whatever is mentioned in your resume is not just some hard and fixed rule that you have to know everything about that or not so get some other things as well so um, after that um after i have given my introduction and all he asked me for uh, questions like related to os a bit of os and then there's normalization and all that and um, yeah most was oops again in this interview and uh, a little bit of dmms too like how database is managed and all like some um, deep dmms then he, according to my project he also asked me some other questions like what are threads what is a process and a uh, couple questions related to that so like as for that the dmms os and ca part i believe that striver sheet was the best for me like i did it monday before and it really helped me okay so um, he also asked me coding questions uh, one was of dp like dp on grids there were there was a grid and i have to go from start to end point and there are some like hurdles so i have to cross them and tell me tell him the number of ways i was supposed to write some code or um, you know just not much just i have to explain my approach then i have to then he asked me the other ways of dp so i told him memoization tabulation and all that yeah that's it so then he asked me a linked list question again so it was like it's on lead code uh, it's a random pointer on the linked list and i have to deep copy it so i did it as well i knew the approach i told him and he seemed convinced then you also asked me a binary search tree question like um, if i have been given a tree i have to tell if it is a bst or not that was the question also i was asked uh, the what is a pre order post order and all that and the type of dif- the difference between the two like what is a fully committed tree you know um like all that um yeah that was really all about the second interview and um, he was also asked me a lo- lot about my project and how i did it i had just had to explain the project like keep your explanation ready like beforehand so that was all about it also uh, the interview was nice he asked me if i could ask if i want to ask any questions again that i had prepared the questions i asked him about it. then i was informed that i was going to have a third interview like it took a while like the, it was the hr round so uh, around 2 to 3 hours later i was called out for the round it was a short round the earlier two were 50 to 55 minute rounds both and but this one was around 35 to 40 minutes only so it was um, hr round the hr Uh, stood up and greeted me by hand, and it was very polite of him. Then he asked me some basic questions: How are you, and all that. And then he asked me about my family background: How many people are there? What do they do? Why do they do? And all that, like just basic family-based questions, right? So after that, he asked me some CN questions and database-related questions, like he wanted to know the answers related to APIs, and if I he wanted to know if I had an idea of APIs. That's all he wanted to know. also I, he asked about my favorite subjects since i'm from electrical i had to tell one of that and i chose um, smart grid so it was related to the word smart so we discussed a lot on that uh, because it was a uh, almost like a cloud based thing so it matched with their requirements so i told them all about it like it was a basic round actually and it was just a discussion based round as i felt it and uh, that was it like after that around one hour later we the result was declared we were all asked to go in and uh, go into the room and the result was was declared and i was selected that was all about my interview experience